Hey everyone, um, I'm here to demonstrate what I did with one of my photos. Um, I originally wanted another photo, but I got corrupted so because I had some computer uh, issues the last two days. So I decided to use one of my photos that I am going to uh, present in my final project for this class. So my subject matter here is, well, is food photography. Here's my image here. You can see everything looks flat, uh, exposure is wrong. Um, look uh, dark and just no, it's not appealing, uh, not interesting. So uh, before I do anything uh, to enhance or fix what I have here is I always have an, I made a habit to uh, make a duplicate copy of the background, mainly because if I make mistakes on anything I do post production wise, that I can always go back uh, to this uh, photo and it's all over again. So the first thing I do with this here, so you can see, I make an exposure adjustment here. Okay, here we go. So it, it brings everything brighter. Uh, the contrast is a little better. I can see things more clearer. Um, people ask ask me why do I cut off my my food, my bowls, my plates, and mainly because of style, or I thought it may be more interesting artistic wise. Um, I don't need to show the whole bowl. Uh, I just show a little different style here, and also the well, what I uh, decided to do with this specific photo is that I use a diamond shape pattern here. As you can see, uh, from one end, from the kanji to the green onion pancakes and up to the green onion bowl and back again. So I do that mainly because I, I've i learned that I need to learn to um, balance the photo in terms of color. Um, so as you can see that I have the green onion on top, the bowl, and I offset the balance the color with the green con green onions as my garnish for my kanji, which I made. And then on the plate itself I you I made um, some green onion pancakes and the color is offset on the other side of this kanji bowl where I you can see there's a little lining uh, brownish tannish line and also some of the bits and pieces of the brownish tan color and uh, my thousand year old egg to offset the colors of the green onion pancake and I've used uh, also the bluish uh, blue white uh, bow and plate and also this uh, this blue combination blue color bow which I love a lot um, is very interesting type of bow uh, so you can see that um, I've got the blues to offset the whiteness of the marble counter and by looking at ice didn't quite like it yet because I thought that the whiteness of the specific counter is distracting. So what I did was that I made some level adjustments and here, um, what I've done here is that I've made some little adjustment on the counter, but I brought out the contrast and uh, details of the food items. And by looking at it, I'm thinking, well, I want to all do more adjustments in terms of bringing out the more more contrast and lower the brightness overall. So I did a brightness and contrast. I used the brightness contrast tool, and there we go. Uh, big difference here. Now the details on the marble uh, is brought out. There's more grayish colors. The shadows have been brought out to uh, frame the bowls and the dinnerware here. Uh, this gray is offset by the shadows here, which is giving me a little more balance there. Uh, the details brought out a lot more with my kanji, uh, especially with the food here. So um, I was rather pleased what I did here. Um, maybe I could do a little bit more adjustments to it, but I think I'm pretty satisfied uh, with this specific uh, photograph the way it is.